All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm actually going to start working on this uh, Kawasaki Bayou 250. So uh, basically what I'm going to do uh, is pull the fuel lines off of it here real quick. Um, there's not much fuel left in this, so I'm probably just going to drain. There might be um, maybe a cup of fuel in the tank. Um, the tank actually doesn't look bad, just fuel smells terrible. So I'm going to get that drained out <coughs> and then pull the carb off pull the air filter uh, out. Um, I did get, I think this here is actually, maybe, I'm getting my pocket knife. Um, anyway, I, I believe I've got a new carburetor that should go right on this. So um, bear with me here a second, guys. I'll cut yeah, right back. So I've got everything up box here. Uh, I've got a high flow filter for it, for the oil filter new new plug new air filter new fuel filter um and then uh this is a knockoff cheap ass carburetor but they do seem to work they're a little chinese um version and on <coughs> on these older values i mean in all honesty um they work well I, I don't know if you're doing something probably a little more a little more power or, yeah a little nicer for really yeah you may want to go ahead and just rebuild the makuni that's on it i think these are makunis i'm pretty sure um it comes on it but these little Chinese knockoffs actually, uh, for the most part, they're kind of hit or miss. There, there are cer certain bikes that I have got them for that I would tell you, hey, run. But my luck with the Kawasaki Bayous, um, this will be like the third or fourth one that I've just put on, um, and they work great. I could probably clean this car, but this one actually doesn't look bad. I don't honestly don't know if it's just if, if it really needs to be swapped out so i may not put this carb on but i've got it just in case i get this one and um honestly i don't care to spend a whole lot of time on this uh, i just want to get it done get it back to the guy and uh get it kind of out of the garage because um, um i got other stuff and this is just more of a favor than than anything so i'm uh, gonna go ahead and get started on this i will um start here by starting at the air box here so Pretty simple, this pops right out. Raise it up out of there, throw it off side. This, uh, you got one Phillips here, and that'll release this back plate, and this will pull up out a couple bolts. The whole air box, I think there's three. And then there's two here, two on this side and one here, and then a Phillips here in the front on the clamp, and then that'll pull off, and you should be able to lift this whole box up out, which then gives you access uh, to where you can pull that carb out. So. Uh, We'll get right to that. Air filter is really simple. You got one Phillips here that you loosen up and then um, that Phillips there I just dropped and the air filter pulls up and out of here. So this is what I was talking about goes, goes here. So pretty, pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side. I'm going to grab, I think that's probably a, a 10 millimeter. Maybe. Yeah. Sorry guys, trying to set some stuff off to the side here because I don't want to. I don't want to lose it. Give me just a second. I'll cut back and see. I think it's a 10, but I'll cut back. All right, guys, got the box out of the way. Um, again, you had your two bolts. The other one here goes on the, actually holds it right there. You probably clip that and bring it with it, but I went ahead and unhooked it and dropped it off the side here. And then you got a couple hoses that go into the, go into that box, just vacuum lines. Um, this one actually doesn't, it's just up there for some reason. So let's get you into the carburetor. Uh, you can pop the fuel line off here pretty easy and um, should be able to drop this back here and we'll uh, we'll get it off so I think I gotta go around the other side there's a Phillips again that holds that holds the clamp on the top of it I don't know where I leave my Phillips as usual spend more time looking for my tools than working on it um, anyway, I'll cut back here in a second uh, once I find it, and I'll get this carb loosened up. Oh, here it is. Um, so again, this should come off. Pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and shut the fuel off here. And I don't believe, yeah, there's not a clamp here, so we'll go ahead and pull it off of here. It's probably going to leak a little. Yeah. yeah, fuel smells terrible. Um, but anyway, right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's your Phillips there. So you're gonna back that clamp up. Get it in 
nice and loose. And then the carburetor should should be able to pop it out. right out the back there. Like I said, I think uh, maybe there might be enough slack on it. Sometimes there there is, sometimes there's not, but. Um, this one's got a choke on it as well on the other side. So basically what I'm doing here, hope you guys can see that up in there, but this is your top for your throttle. I'm just loosening it up. Again, I may put this carb right back in here. Uh, we'll see. But, and then I can pull, pull that carb up and out and then the choke is on the other side. Looks like most of the time you have to doesn't come out quite that easy, but this one did. Uh, maybe part of the problem there. The choke actually be stuck. So the throttle is out. Um, so let me get this thing over here where I can work on it. Yeah, these lines are brittle. Man, they've been there for a minute. Fuel is nasty. It's almost yellow. I don't know if you guys could see that. Um, but yeah, it looks like that choke is actually stuck in there. So that could be a, there we go. Big part of why I didn't want to run right. And then this goes here is a, I believe that's just a vent. Yeah, awesome. So carb is out here. Again, doesn't take a whole lot to get these out. Um, I'm gonna lay it down here kind of beside this one so you guys can see there similar carburetors um <coughs> like i said th these knockoffs are um really really close i honestly i've had really good luck with them so i'm probably i may pull the bowl just to look in here but um uh, between the smell of the fuel and the choke being stuck as well as it was in there um that's probably honestly my issues uh, it looks like also maybe that gasket going into the top up here may have been sucking air maybe around the top of that maybe we'll see I'm trying to look at that choke in there yeah that was pretty nasty so down in there's where it was hung up but again this is pretty simple to fix out so um yeah i'm not sure which direction i'm gonna go yet so uh i'm gonna go ahead and pull this pull this carpet apart um and then I'll cut back. I may pop the bowl off real fast and we can look inside it and see <laughs> see what I think. So cut back in a minute. So I've got this carb pulled apart here. Um, it actually isn't too bad on the inside. I mean, you guys can see it's kind of, fuel's been setting in it for a little bit, but um, yeah, it's actually not, not terrible, um, but there was some gunk. I don't know if you guys can see see down there. You can see where the fuels the fuel line's been sitting in this in this carburetor, right in there. It's pretty nasty. And then um, <coughs> some of that stuff that's built up there on that plate. So um, not the cleanest. I mean, you guys can see that jet's pretty nasty too around it. I'm sure the internals probably look very, very similar. So I'm honestly not going to waste my time. Uh, I'm going to save this carb because, again, I can rebuild it and uh, do something with it later. But I'm actually just going to pull this one apart here and throw this on and be done with it. Because, again, this is um, it, it literally takes like five minutes to pop this stuff off and put it back together. There's no point in wasting a whole bunch of time. So I'm going to throw this on, get the filter air filter, read it, re put together. You basically pull this nasty foam um, piece off of here, throw that in the trash because it's crumbling. Um, it's pretty nasty. So get that cleaned up um, and get a new plug in it, change my fuel, and this thing should run like a top. So uh, I, I need to check the oil lamp. Oil looks nasty. I'm going to go ahead and do it. If it don't, I'm sending it on. They can change the oil themselves. So we'll uh, cut back here in just a second. All right, guys, got the new carb already in there. Um, as you guys can see, throttle's hooked up, choke's hooked up. Um, sorry, been getting over a cold, so sorry about sniffing and whatever. But anyway, um, on this choke here, I was gonna show you guys. Easiest, 
easiest way I found to put this all together. So you got this piece here. Um, somewhere there's a spring. It may have shot off, but anyway, there's a spring that goes in between here. So if you shove this up on, shove your spring up on, you can actually uh, lay this sideways just like this and press it up on and get your little, um, the little end of your cable inside here. And then you can turn this back and it'll pop right in place. They're pretty, pretty simple. Um, I would have got it on video, but it's kind of hard to, uh, to hold the camera and do all that. And it's just me here today. So, um, so basically what I'm going to do now is get these vet hoses here kind of brought down and dropped here through the back. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure where these dropped out before, but I'm going to run them down and through kind of here. Something like that. Same thing with this one. Just kind of run them down. Maybe I'm going to. They're kind of being a little bit. Okay. And so basically, what I'm doing with these is just draining them right through. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think also that bottom hose that's on my air box will also. Um, drop through here um, but yeah pretty pretty simple there again this is the vent off of that and it looks like that's it so I uh, got the card back on we'll hook up I'll get this air filter done real quick get that dropped in and um, yeah outside of that just getting I'm probably gonna get some new fuel line this fuel line's pretty pretty crappy so I'll get some new fuel line, put the new fuel filter in line, and we'll see what happens. I'll cut back here in just a second. I'll go ahead and show this just because uh, some people may not know, but um, basically this just screws into the back here. You know, Phillips goes in the back, so you pop this off, and then your air filter will actually pull off of this screen here. Um, this one is probably aftermarket because I think the original was like a foam crap, but um, yeah, this is pretty... Pretty nasty, it's kind of crumbling already. So um, I got a new one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, this one put on. So we'll, thought I'd kind of show that, it's pretty simple. Um, again, not a whole lot to it. So. Get this right, guys, got everything put back together here. Got the fuel line uh, clipped up. I did not change the oil in it. Uh, oil looks all right. So I got the fuel turned on. This is the fuel that was in it. So uh, this is, kind of tells you it was the carburetor. Um, I'm not gonna choke it. So, fire's right up, sounds good, idle's awesome. Um, it's a little cold stick. Go ahead and choke it. We'll get it warmed up here. Doesn't sound too bad. Uh, fuels, it's still a little bit uh, crappy in it, so we'll uh, get through that. But she's a little cold still too. Um, these guys like are a little bit cold natured, but anyway. That's still with the choke on. May have to bump the idle up just a touch maybe. We'll see, but um, gotta mess with the tune just a little bit on the car, tweak it a little bit, but yeah, that's night and day different. The other day I couldn't even get the thing to hardly fire up. So um, I'm gonna get some fresh fuel in it, kind of cruise it up and down uh, the drive a little bit and see what she does. So anyway, uh, if I have any other issues on this, I'll, I'll put those at the end of the video, but I think for the most part, this one's probably wrapped up. And um, if you guys have questions, I'll try to help you out. Uh, this video is pretty, Pretty straightforward. Again, this is like 
maybe 30 minutes worth of work. Just pull a carb on one of these and swap it out. Um, if I was gonna clean this, it take it really just takes longer to take it all apart, stick it in a Kim dip and then piece it back together. So um, yeah, we'll uh, take this out, see what it does and um, we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.